Okay, in this uh, video part 3, I'm going to show you the uh, how to solve the steps uh, for the tuning uh, hubbar parameter tuning. Yeah. So we are going to uh, use this uh, tuning model hubbar parameters. Just know in the regularization, you remember that uh, we trial and error, yeah, change the value of the regularization manually yeah, but uh, with this uh, we're going to uh, let the model to uh, choose for us and try and uh, return to us uh, the information what is the best value for the parameters yeah? so we are going to use the tune model hyper parameter okay so uh, <clears throat> can be searched in several way yeah this one is uh, automatic yeah so here in the model that uh, just now i have already created yeah i'm going to save as yeah so save as after that uh, change to the number three and then uh, upper parameter tuning okay yeah save it yeah okay then uh, after that uh, we're going to focus on uh, this area yeah at the following modules, placing them in the free space to the right of the SSC module. Yeah, so we just uh, split two class, tune model, hyper parameters, yeah, score model, if model. This is uh, no need to copy, you can create from uh, fresh. Yeah, okay, so uh, you see the shape will be like this. Mm. Yeah, so we have to split the data to class, tune model, score model, and evaluate model. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five five shape okay yeah one two three four five okay we do it then now yeah so uh, open this after that uh, we add the uh, split data okay then after that uh, two class logistic regression okay then after that the uh, uh, hyperparameter Okay, then uh, training the model. And then score the model. Okay, yeah, so back to this again. The shape is more or less like this. Yeah, split two class, yeah, and then after that tune model have a parameter, and then uh, this data will be coming from the the right part, yeah, the testing one, yeah, okay, and then after that uh, this go to the uh, tune model, after that the score, then evaluate, yeah, sorry, we don't use a train model, but the uh, evaluate the model, so I made mistake just now, I removed the train model because uh, this one is replacing the train model, yeah. So I remove the uh, train the model, this one, and then after that uh, evaluate the model. Ah, this one. Yeah. So this one is uh, replacing the train the model. Okay. I will arrange uh, the shape uh, following, but uh, it will take a while. So I just uh, uh, do it manually, and I will not uh, record that. Yeah. Okay. I stop the recording first because it take a long time later. Okay, so I already finished the two connect, yeah, like this. And then now we're going to configure following the, first is a split, yeah, in the split here, you uh, put uh, 0, 0,5, and then randomize a check, random split, 1, 2, 3, 4, certified uh, false, yeah. Okay, so uh, split row, uh, 0, 0,5, check, 1, 2, 3, 4, false. One, two, three, four. Okay, yeah, this is the split data. And then the next one is the for the tune model have a parameter setting. Okay, uh wait a uh. okay, I just make a correction here. Eh? So here, from the split data, go to training, and then after that uh, here, go to here. Yeah, just uh, like this one. 
existing uh, for the this one yeah go to this and then the split data the new one yeah, it's go to this and this one is a uh, go to this okay yeah this one is a uh, go to the second part here this one is go to here yeah the line is like this okay then uh, we configure the uh, 0 0.0001 0 0.01 so 430 okay I just copy this yeah and then optimization tolerance yeah so I do it uh, uh, for the parameter range uncheck yeah and then after that uh, this Okay, uh, uh, okay, uncheck and then uh, yeah, I think this one is uh, the default one. Then after that, uh, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 10. Yeah, uh, 1, yeah, correct or not? Yep, so this one is a uh, wait, uh, Okay, zero, 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 one, and then zero point one, one point zero. Okay, zero, zero point zero one, zero point zero one, zero point one, one. Yeah, then uh, five twenty fifty, and then one two three four. Okay, yeah, then uh, check. Okay, configure the tune model parameter. Yeah, this one. To have the uh, random suite and then 30 okay after that the uh, uh, random suite one two three four okay let's see anything else label readmitted yeah so uh, we need to select from the no column yeah after that the readmitted with rules yeah uh, include column name readmitted. Ah, okay, yeah. So click. Okay, after that the uh, metrics for the performance accuracy, yeah, mean absolute error. Okay, so both are done already. Like this, yeah. Then uh, save and run the experiment. Review the model performance metric that means whether or not uh, tuning the model has uh, had the desired effect. Yeah. Okay. Visualize the train model. Yeah. Okay. So that's uh, what we're going to do. Yeah. Save and run. Okay. Save. After that, run. Okay. So this will take a while. I just uh, pause first the recording. Okay, done already. Yeah, so uh, let's uh, see uh, evaluate the model. Okay, so six six six, and then six to eight. More or less are the same. Yeah, compared to the normal one. Yeah, so this one. Six six nine, yeah, six to eight, more or less the same. So not really, yeah. But uh, what is the parameter tuning that uh, uh, this yeah, a uh, train uh, model? Yeah, you visualize. Okay, so this is the weight, yeah, eight point one one eight seven two one point nine, yeah, the weight. Okay, and then after that, uh, the this optimization tolerance 2.7 L1, L2, 0 0.12. Yeah. Okay, so uh, okay, 8.6, 0.71. I think I should, yeah, I think I made a mistake. Yeah. 
So the value should be something like that. Yeah. Okay, let me do some correction first. Okay, so uh, let's continue. Yeah, your result uh, may not be uh, better than the previous one that you have already uh, did. Uh, yeah, so 666, 628. Yeah, accuracy is more or less the same. And then uh, what uh, we focus is uh, here in uh, what the parameter value that's suggested by the tune model hyperparameter, yeah? which is uh, this one. Okay, you can use this uh, for the later, yeah. But uh, because the, there is no improvement, so uh, I'm uh, up to you. Yeah, you want to use that or not? It's up to you. But uh, I can just put uh, into the notepad, yeah. Then after that, uh, save it, yeah, like this, yeah. So if you want to use this one later, you can do for the next one. But uh, if not, then uh, because uh, the point is uh, the result here with this parameter is not uh, any better. Yeah. So uh, in another in other way, you can uh, use the previous parameter value that uh, you already have it. Yeah. But this tell you that uh, this is what the machine learning uh, optimize. Yeah. Uh, you can find right click here in a train model then. Uh, this parameter. If your result is uh, slightly different from this, is okay, yeah, because the combination of this is uh, could be uh, more than one, yeah. Like I did the uh, other uh, experiment, yeah, the result is uh, different, yeah. Okay, and uh, you see the this is the value, yeah, another optimization. So I put in the notepad. This one is uh, another uh, possible value, yeah. Okay. So this one is a uh, less memory size, yeah. Okay, so maybe I can use this one later, yeah, in the cross validation. Okay, so I save, and then after that, uh, that's the end of the step three, yeah. You can uh, name it a step three here. In the edit the comment, you put uh, step 3. Okay, later we will have the step 4. Yeah. Okay, thanks for watching.